Hi everyone, so today I'm going to review a thread that I saw on vegan reddit posted by Heaven Girl. She posted the question, people you didn't expect to be vegan. This thread was flooded with so many amazing responses that I just had to do a video on it. And I think that many of you are going to be very surprised by some of the names that are included in this post. If you could take a moment to subscribe to my channel, that would be appreciated. Subscribing to my channel not only supports me, but it encourages me to make more interesting, fun videos for you in the future. All right, now let's get started. So first off, I bet, I bet you had no idea that eight of the 10 members of the Wu-Tang Clan are vegan. That's right. In fact, RZA stopped eating meat in the 1990s and gave up on animal products altogether in the year 2000. And since then, he has converted many of the others. These members include Ghostface Killa, DJ Mathematics, Master Killa, Method Man, and Killa Priest. Now, I did get some conflicting information as to whether or not some were vegan or vegetarian currently, but hey, either way, I'll take it. And Wu-Tang are not the only men from the rap community to go plant-based. Other posters added Lil Durk, Waka Flocka Flame, Big Daddy Kane, KRS-One, ASAP Rocky, Stick from Dead Prez, and the list goes on. These names are not only unexpected, but actually very refreshing, especially in the uh, with all the anti-vegan rhetoric that takes place in the black community or even in just the male community where meat is considered a very manly thing to eat. Real men eat meat. And unfortunately, there is this common stereotype that uh, veganism is a form of white privilege or it's something that only white people tend to have access to, which simply is not true. After all, not all vegans are white, well-off women wearing yoga pants. Thank you very much. Also recognized in this post are Erica Badu, Red Fu from LMFAO, Annelie Choppa, Denzel Curry, Billy Ellish, Joan Jett, Brian May from Queen was vegan for many years, and then, and then to my shock, Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. Who the hell would have thunk that Rob Zombie, with all of his dark music and his directing of horror films, including the Halloween series, would be vegan? I wonder if this means that Michael Myers is plant-based. <coughs> Some posters of the thread were shocked to learn that Lizzo, who is apparently not only a big advocate for female body positivity, but she is also an advocate for a furry friends as well. Go Lizzo! And did she ever find her phone? Also rebelling against corpse munching in the worlds of punk, rock, and metal. We have Geezer Butler and Bill Ward of Black Sabbath. The cro John Joseph. Sepultura's vocalist, Derek Green. Joe DePlanter of Gijoria, Gajoria, I can't pronounce that, I apologize. And Doyle from the Misfits. And very ironic to their names, Cattle Decapitation, Carcass, and Disrupt are also plant-based. Now, my research did find that some are still on the eggs and booby juice. But you know what? Thank you guys for going against the norm and rock on. Vegans reigning our red carpet are Sir Braun of the Blackwater from Game of Thrones, Elizabeth Lale Beck from You on Netflix, Woody Harrelson, who apparently converted Thandiwi, Thandiwi Newton? <laughs> Thandiwi, the Weeby, <laughs> the, wee, the Tweety Bud. Let, let's try that again. I, I'm sorry, I have to have it in front of me. Woody Harrelson, who recruited Thandiwi Newton and Sadie. Sadie, I can pronounce. Sadie, who I couldn't find a last name. I guess she just goes by Sadie. Uh, so yes, he converted those two lovely ladies towards being vegan as well. Cheers, Woody. We also have Giancarlo Esposito, Tara Strong, Elliot Page. Comedian Jeff Dunham and his dummies. Actor and director Kevin Smith. Huh, Silent Bob. John Stewart, British actors Anthony Fontano and Ricky Gervais. Steve O. That just goes to show you that even a jackass can be vegan. James Karen, Mayim Bialik, who ironically, Mayim Bialik, she, I think I'm saying her name right, she played Blossom. Also, she played Amy Farrah Fowler on Big Bang Theory. And I think somebody in the thread mentioned that <laughs> it's funny because her character on the Big Bang Theory, uh, she tested on animals. So I'm thinking maybe that's why she, she kind of balanced it out with her new show. On her new show, Call Me Cat, she is a, uh, she runs a cat cafe where she has lots of rescues. 
My favorite response, Jennifer Coolidge, who has just become a complete gay icon over the years. How does she say it? Oh, you have to help me. These gays are trying to murder me. Please, these gays, they're trying to murder me. Alex Greenwald, and we had Kristen Bell until she became pregnant. You know what, Kristen? You know what? We don't blame you. It's really nerve-wracking making sure that you are being a good expecting mother, so if you don't want to take chances with that, okay, despite the fact that research suggests that being a vegan prenatal mother is fine. But now, come on, Kristen. Stop milking that reason and come back to the fold. Shoutouts in the world of sports were Prince Fielder, Chicago Bears quarterback Justin Fields, no nut, no nuts, <laughs> and no nuts except basketball nets with NBA players DeAndre Jordan, Cade Cunningham, Kyrie Irving, and Chris Paul says it helps him poop better. I guess we can't say no shit. Representing ice hockey, we have Ryan O'Reilly, and from the world of professional wrestling, we have Brian Danielson, Sami Zayn, Lita and Zack Sabre Jr., as well as Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz. And wrapping up. Weightlifter Clarence Kennedy was vegan for a very long time, which is amazing because, um, I'm sorry. Okay, so he's not vegan now, but, uh, he was a vegan professional wrestler for how long? Um, amazing. I was actually kind of surprised that a lot of people weren't aware that Pamela Anderson is a vegan because she's been an advocate for PETA for so long. Something about Pamela that has always made me laugh is in one of the PETA videos, it's not meet your meat, it's one of the ones about the chickens, about the factory farm chickens. And in that video, she she protests against the fact that these poor hens are genetically altered to have unnaturally large breasts. I'm sorry, Pamela, but isn't this the pot or the kettle type of situation? Hit it, Luna. Meow. Right. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Okay, Luna's getting involved now. Whew, so that was quite the list, wasn't it? And honestly, there are new names being added to this post every single day. I just had to stop at some point to make the video. I don't know about you other vegans out there, but reading this thread really made me feel good about being part of the same group as all of these amazing, famous people who are fighting for the cause. And for you non-vegans out there, I do hope that maybe this will inspire some of you to maybe at least cut back on the meat or maybe be more plant-based or maybe even take the vegan plunge yourself. So if you know anyone who is not covered in this video and you would like to add their name to this list, please share that in the comments below. And who knows, if we get enough names, maybe I can make us another video. As far as the status of everyone being vegan currently or prior, I did my best to do as much research and fact finding as I could. If anyone feels that they need to update any information, they are welcome to post that in the comments. I am all about sharing accurate information. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and also select the little bell if you'd like to be notified of when I make my next video. There will be a new video coming out very soon. This is Only Frankly Speaking. See you next time. I didn't see it in the thread, but I thought Samuel Jackson at least was vegan. There ain't no vegans on this motherfucking plane. And a shout out to Heaven Girl who happily discovered that Captain Underpants is vegan.